Let's take a look at uh, zooming on the ClassPad Manager. Now, the first one we'll take a look at is y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now, um, if I and I'm I'm not sure how the interface goes on this, whether it's a touch interface or this is a mouse type of interface, but I'll have, I'll use my mouse, and you have to uh, interpret it accordingly to yours. Um, I'll go into main, and um, you see up here, you see different uh, options, and I'm going to click the graph, and then I click the Y1, Y2. Okay, and Y1, I'm going to put my X squared, so I do X um, caret 2 minus 5X plus 6, and then I'll do EXE, accept it, and then I'll click the graph to graph it. Okay, now we're wondering what's happening right here. So we're going to take a look at the zooming. Well, you see up here we got a, a menu, and again, I don't know if this is um, whether one you can click, uh, like it's a touch screen, or you have to use a mouse, but anyway, choose zoom, and we'll look at zoom in. Now, when you choose zoom in, see how it zooms in? If I choose zoom again and choose zoom in, zoom in even more. And if I want to put it back to the original, if I do zoom and choose original, that'll set it back to what it was. But to zoom in uh, does exactly what you think, zooms in. Now the zoom box. So if I do zoom and choose the first one, the box. Now this this one's kind of kind of questionable. Um, it depends on your interface. On my mouse, I'm going to click here where my upper left hand corner of my box goes. Now drag and go, come over here and create a box. And when I let up here, it'll zoom in on whatever I uh, drew a box around. Really cool feature for for this emulator. Uh, I'm not sure how it works actually on the ClassPed Manager. But again, I could click here. Oops. So I did zoom and box again. Click here and drag, and then it zooms in on that. So you can very concisely um, drill in on that. Again, to go back to the original, you do zoom, and then um, original, wherever it is. There it is. Okay. Let's look at this one. Y is equal to x squared minus 400. Well, I'll press my Y1, put focus back up here. Do my up arrow, highlight that, press clear. And I do my x key caret 2, so x squared, minus 400. Then I'll press my exe. Now, um, if I go back to my graph, push my graph, that's what I see. And I screwed that up. Let me go back to y1, y2. I didn't want 40, I want 400. Okay. So x squared, I was wondering why I was seeing the graph, minus 400, and then exe. Okay, now push the graph. Notice we don't see anything. So if I do zoom, and I choose um, zoom out. Choose zoom, zoom out, zoom, zoom out, and you see you start seeing more of it. Now you can combine together the different zooms at this point. So if I choose zoom, and uh, if I choose box, well then I can again draw a box around to this part here, and it zooms in on just that part, so I can see a little bit more clear what's what's going on with it. Now if I do zoom, I can put it back to original by choosing that. Not that there's anything to see with original, but let's see. Um, we got a view window here. If I click this um, this option. Choose view window. This is where you can manually set these values. Like if I set the x min to be negative 40, and um, down arrow, maximum, I'll make that as positive 40. This is from x values. And uh, then scale, I'll make it um, 10. Dot, I'll ignore y min. I'm going to change that to negative 500. Do my down arrow. Maximum I'll do positive 100. 
down arrow and uh, scale I'll make it 100 down arrow keep down arrowing okay well, I was trying to highlight okay but I'll just click it I guess and then we see our graph now what I did when I said negative 40 to 40 that means this leftmost tick mark is negative 40 the rightmost tick mark is positive 40 and it goes by tens so that's what our scale was negative 40 negative 30 negative 20 negative 10 0 10 20 30 40 for my y axis I went from negative 500 to a positive 100 and it goes by hundreds so negative 500 negative 400 negative 300 negative 200 negative 100 0 and 100 why did I go so far down with the, the y values well our, origin, our graph was y is equal to x squared minus 400 and when you got a number at the end it shifts it up or down the minus 400 means it's been shifted down 400 units that's why I decided to go with the scale you see here and again set it back you do zoom and you choose original eh, I guess it doesn't set it back to the original in terms of those though um, kind of stinks I'd have to do the original put the original values in especially since I don't remember what they were they do previous zoom previous and obviously it doesn't uh, have very much of a history to it let's eh, see what else is there <laughs> quick initialize there uh, zoom quick initialize looks like I set it back to the original and that's um zooming on a class pad manager and I did find a I got looking in my there is a version on this I think it says uh, CP 330A so um, this looks like it worked for a class pad 330A hopefully it works on other class pads too 